Hi, this is Charmaine Paper Talk Green. I'm reading to you from Geraldton in Western Australia. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land in which I live, write and create, and my ancestors, the southern Yamaji of the Midwest of Western Australia. And second, I'd like to thank Panaceum Poets. I'm going to read a couple of poems from my latest book, Ngunnajungu Yagu, and the first one I want to read is called Nurture. Nurture. Nurture me, protect me. Watch me grow. Nobody can stop me. It is strong for my ancestors are behind me and in front of me. I remain Gaja. I remain Mayu. Thugger rat. I'll go on to the next one. Um, it's called Tea Leaf Stains. And uh, I wrote this poem in recognition of um, the slaves and the train maids and the maids, um, our people, my mother, um, on stations and in towns and who had to serve tea to the others. Tea leaf stains. Cafe sitting, teacup drinking. Tea leaves tell a story. You know slavery. Poured through generations' eyes swirling into existence which with each teaspoon stir stirring memories not forget wajbalas took something society slavery here like domesticating a cat or breaking a wild horse the gin needs to serve us that sea lot was the catch cry of the day mission slavery real a fine cup saucer lace for the Mijiji white woman, fancy embroidered tablecloth, stained enamel mug, chipped for the Nyalu black woman, station domestics locked in, station slavery existed, our mothers, the tea tray girls, serving cakes, teas and coffee, white uniform in white spaces, station house or town tea rooms, but not their space to domesticate. Domestics were slaves. Okay, the last poem that I want to read is called Not Just Letters. And this is um, around, basically, the letters that my mum wrote to me 40 years ago. These are not just letters on paper. These are mother's letters to me, her daughter, blood, her hopes. These are not letters on paper that can be crumpled and discarded, a long line of forever flowing blood, of Yamaji women bound together from a continuous womb of love, Bibulawonga paper talking, Bibulawonga because we can, Bibulawonga talking paper. The, they are not letters on paper that can be burnt. Yagu's thoughts chose the words. Umara wrote the sentences despite leaving school at 12 to be a servant slave kid to a society that despised her kind. Bibula Wonga paper talking. Bibula Wonga because we do. Bibula Wonga talking paper. These are not letters on paper that can be shredded. I close my eyes and I see Yagu, that Yamaji woman who would not allow her kids to starve when money did, the time's hard, but walk to the bush with a dog and return with a goat or marlu, slung over her shoulders to feed. Bibulawanga paper talking. Bibulawanga because we must. Bibulawanga talking paper. These are not just letters. Um, so that's the couple that I have got. Um, I think I'll just read this last one. It's called Messages. Spirit in the paper to be carried miles across country to me. Mum should have been relaxing before walking up to clean a public space for money. Sipping a delicious mug of tea, resting her body before bending her knees, scrubbing floors, washing wards and clothes. Instead, she sat at an early morning table before a family woke to write letters on a late night table with everyone's demands, 
stopped and went to bed. To write these letters to me, I love these letters, still my family treasure. And I've just got some images of a um, special place, um, special site on Yamaji country at Ellendale Pool. Um, thank you very much and thanks to Panaceum Poets.